Hey everybody, Ian from Novel Music here, and in this video we're going to take a look at the updates to Staircase. This is version 1.1. And when you open the device, the first thing you'll notice is there's been some minor UI changes. All of these were made uh, in order to facilitate navigation of the device. So we've changed some of the labeling uh, throughout the device, changed some of the colors of buttons and things like that. The first change I want to look at is in the MIDI source engine. So we go to Engine MIDI. And the new feature here is the addition of the control change option. So I actually removed, uh, before we had expression, sustain. It seemed a little too specific, I thought, and why not just include any CC message? And so when you select that, you can just pick your CC from uh, this number box here, or you can hit the learn button and then toggle or jiggle your dial, slider, fader, whatever it is that you're using, your MIDI device. And in my case, it's a fader. And it learns that that was CC32. And as you can see, now I'm able to use that for modulation. So let's go ahead and map that to a synthesizer low pass filter. <laughs> works like that. The other big change to the device is in the options view for the matrix, we now have a modulation shape parameter. And this is something that I was using staircase recently and I realized I really would like to have this feature. So not only can we change the curve of the modulation shape, so exponential, logarithmic, we can actually drag this around, create new points, completely change the way that the modulation is mapped to the parameter. Uh, I find this especially useful if we have uh, one fader or dial that we would like to have multiple effects tied to it and for those effects to behave differently depending on what's going on. So let's try to rig that up. We'll have the, we're still use the CC32 here. We'll use the A source engine. We have the filter. Why don't we also use vibrato, reverb, and a noise effect. And I'm gonna put them all on the a source engine. Now, when I play this, yes, they're all just going up equally. And that could be fine, but what I really would like is for, for instance, I would like it so that the filter never goes that low, so I can either adjust the range or I can adjust this modulation shape. So now the filter will not be cut off that much. The vibrato, maybe I'd like that to be at the beginning of this modulation and then it fades down perhaps exponentially so let's see what we have now using those modifications that's already for me a lot more musical now the last thing i think i want to do is would love for the reverb to kind of come in a little more towards the end so i'm going to change that to an exponential curve and then the noise, I really don't want to hear until the very, very end. So in fact, I'm gonna make that pretty tight there. And again, maybe add a little curve. Now let's see what I have. Yeah, that's much, much better. More interesting, allows me to build what I have in my head, the effect that I'd like to have and this Mod shape really simplifies the process. So that's it for Staircase 1.1. I hope you'll enjoy these updates. And if you haven't had a chance to grab the device, go ahead and pick it up. It's on novelmusic.org. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you like videos like this, and stay tuned for more updates.